hello guys how are you in this video i'm going to show you how can we create multiple pages application where you can switch between pages or you can say switch between frames in real world applications it's very common because most of the applications obviously have multiple pages so let's continue here we will import tkinter as tk i will do my best to keep it very uh, simple so you can easily understand the concept from tkinter import everything and i will also import font just to increase font size of labels and button so from tkinter import font right first we have to create our main window obviously so when uh, tk dot tk and uh, the size of window win dot geometry 650 by 650 and win dot title multiple pages application and win dot resizable false false and then win dot main loop let me show you python main dot py see here uh, i'm going to create a seamless windows here or you can say seamless frames let's continue first we will create our pages i think three pages will be good enough uh, just to clear the concept and you will understand it easily so page one frame and its master will be win of course this is the parent window which is win and the page two frame here win all three pages uh, main container will be win page three frame win right now i have to add these uh, pages to the container so here page one dot i will use grid and its raw will be zero and column will be of course zero and then page two dot create raw will be zero and column will be zero okay and uh, page three dot create of course raw will be zero and column will be zero please watch the entire video so you won't miss anything and don't forget to like and share my video please Python main dot by well let me code it further then I will show you here let's create labels for all three uh, pages lb1 label its parent will, uh, window will be page 1 because I am creating this label in page 1 and text will be I am page one right and let's uh, create a font as well here I will create two styles style one font dot font and in this video I will just work with uh, increasing font size 25 and style two font dot font size 20 right i think this will be good enough and now in uh, label i will uh, use this style one the font size 25 to increase the text size of this label so font here I will use style 1 right 
now here lb1 dot pack and uh, let's give it some padding vertically pad y20 and also let's create a button here for page 1 btn1 button or wait let me uh, show you something first let's create another uh, label for page 2 lb2 label uh, page 2 and text will be i am page 2 and font style 1 lb2 dot pack pad y 30 okay i am just uh, uh, giving pad y 30 to uh, bring the text uh, to the bottom a little bit so you can uh, see the difference in uh, pages easily and let's create another label for page 3 label page 3 and text will be i am page 3 and font will be style 1 of course lb3 dot back and pad y let's make it 50 now let me show you how is it looking see this it's showing me page 3 first right so uh, we need to bring the page one uh, to the front so for that we will use uh, the function here mm, page one dot tk race let's try it okay see here it's showing me page one now now let's uh, work on buttons to switch between frames and one more thing let's add a sticky option here uh, north south east, east west any nsew same i will do here a sticky nsew and here a sticky NSEW. Now let's create buttons. First button will be showing on page one, of course. So page one text will be show page two, and command will be we will use lambda here page two dot tk race, and font will be style two btn1.pack right let me show you okay see this is page 1 and uh, the button uh, saying show page 2 when I click the button show page 2 it should show me the page 2 and see I am on page 2 now now here I on page 2 I will create two more buttons uh, show page 1 and show page 3 right let's continue here i will create buttons for page 2 and page 3 all together uh, to save some time btn2 button page 2 i am working on page 2 so master will be page 2 text show page 1 and command will be Mm, lambda page uh, this is for show page one so I will use page one dot tk race and font will be style 2 I am using style 2 uh, here you can see size 2 uh, this is font size I am using a style 1 for labels and style 2 for button text
and PTN three button page two text will be show page three and command will be lambda guys if you did not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my video please page to sorry page 3 dot tk race because i'm going to show page 3 on this button click and font will be style 3 oh sorry style 2 right so these two buttons will go on page 2 let's uh, pack them and btn2 btn3 dot pack now let's create uh, two more buttons on page 3 one of them will show page 1 and the second will show page 2 so btn4 button page 3 uh, now i am working on page 3 that's why I'm uh, using master page 3 text will be show page 1 and uh, command will be lambda page 1 dot tk race and of course font style 2 btn5 button ok this button will show me page 2 page 3 the master text uh, show page 2 command lambda page 2 dot tk race and font style 2 right now let's uh, add them btn4 dot pack and btn5 dot pack right now let's test our multi pages application here see this is page 1 and we have one button here show page 2 and this is page 2 if i click show page 1 see i am again on page 1 if I click page 2, see I am on page 2. If I click show page 3, see I am on page 3. Okay, here we have again two buttons. Show page 1. Let's click the show page 1. See I am on page 1. And uh, if I click show page 2, see I am on page 2. So this was our multi pages simple application. And I hope you got the concept and I did my best to keep it simple to make it easy to understand for you okay guys I will keep making useful videos for you so please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys in next video thank you goodbye